We know that this will affect some players in Australia. China has been sitting, you know, on, on this literal mountain of rare earth mm -hmm. capability. So what are they trying to do now? Yeah, we don't actually have a reason for this from the mm -hmm. Commerce Ministry, but the context is pretty clear. Of course, the, this is an environment where the US has curbed chip making uh, technology. Uh, this doesn't affect the export of rare earths themselves, but the technology needed to process them. China's also got about uh, two thirds of the mining tied up, almost all of the refining as well. 100% of heavy rare earths, 85% of the processing of light rare earths. So China obviously through this move uh, gets to protect its market dominance here. Uh, rare, rare, rare earths, uh, the name's a little bit misleading. They're not particularly rare, but they are extremely hard to extract and process and they're essential for technology for all sorts of things, uh, mainly green tech, uh, wind turbines, electric vehicles, but military hardware as well. So just again, this does not affect uh, shipments of the finished product. Uh, but the technology required to process it, and that's going to make diversification away from China a lot more difficult. Australia wants to compete with China. What are we seeing outside of the country in terms of trying to process rare earths? You know, Australia, of course, are blessed with an abundance of minerals, including rare earths. It's about fifth in terms of the global supply and, and third in terms of global processing. But that's still only 6% of rare earths processing. So Australia is still a pretty tiny player comparatively to China. Uh, we did have the new government here in Australia. Um, put forward $2.6 billion to improve rare earth's capacity. The Resources Minister Madeleine King says about half of that's already been spent and there's probably going to be a need for more. Uh, Linus is the uh, big rare earth's company here in Australia. Uh, it's really the only major company refining rare earths outside of China. It got $120 million in June from the US government to build a processing facility there. Uh, the US and the EU, of course, are making similar moves to Australia in terms of adding more funding. Uh, to diversify away from China. Uh, but Madeleine King, Resources Minister here in Australia, says it's a, quote, uh, pipe dream uh, if the rest of the world expects China to, uh, is expecting to break China's dominance of this market anytime soon.